So last time on Dragon Ball Super BG, Goku had finally revived both his parents Bardock and Gine, and after some emotional scenes, introduced them to Chi Chi and his sons. After a less than perfect meeting between Gine and Chi Chi, Goku quickly then took his parents to West City to show them how the Earthlings live, and in the process, allowed them to get new clothes and thus gave birth to Drip Bardock. And in today's manga, they'll continue their new life, meeting the rest of the cast. But before that, support this video and channel by leaving a like right now as you're reading this and watching this video until the very end for its unexpected conclusion. Enjoy. So our story continues after Goku had taken Bardock and Gine shopping for new clothes. They are both now wearing those same clothes from last time, with of course Bardock looking particularly drippy. Gine and Goku are seen laughing at Bardock still, with Gine saying, I can't believe you're going to go out in public like that. Honey, you're literally a great grandpa. The Earthlings are going to point and stare even more than before. And Bardock, who by this time has had enough of their comments yells, BE QUIET ALREADY! THAT'S ENOUGH YOU TWO! I've left one hell and entered another! Kakarot, what else are we doing here? I'm not your entertainment for the day! Goku, now wiping away a tear from his laughter, then tries to get serious and says, Hmm, well since this was all paid for by my friend Mr. Satan, we should probably go pay him a visit. You guys will really love his mansion. <laughs> Understandably, Bardock and Gine are a little spooked hearing the name of Goku's friend, with both muttering, Mr. Satan? Goku, however, then attempts to put them at ease, smiling and then saying, <laughs> Don't worry guys, he's not evil. You two can call him Hercule if you'd prefer. Trust me, he's a really great guy, and a hero at that. Following this, Goku then places his fingers on his head saying, Alright guys, hold on tight, we'll head there now. And as usual, Bardock and Gine then grab on, and the trio vanish much to the shock of passers-by. Soon after, they then arrive in front of Mr. Satan's massive mansion, and Hercule is seen watering his plants before noticing Goku saying, Huh? Is that... Goku? before waving over to him with a smile yelling, Goku! Long time no see! What a surprise! What brings you down here? Does Chi Chi need more money? Goku just smiles and waves back, but then tells Mr. Satan, <laughs> Hey Mr. Satan! No, I think Chi Chi is happy with the zenny you gave her last time. I actually came down here just to say hi, and introduce you my parents. <gasps> Hercule is of course taken by some level of surprise on hearing this, responding, Parents? Wow! How did I never hear about them before, Goku? Were they not at Gohan and Bidel's wedding? I guess I was more drunk than I thought that night to miss out on seeing them. Hercule then walks over and is immediately surprised at the uncanny resemblance to Goku, saying, Wow! Goku, you weren't kidding! Your dad looks just like you! He even looks younger than you! You strange alien guys age really weird! Before then grabbing Bardock's hand for a handshake. But anyway, my name's Hercule. It's a pleasure to finally meet Gohan's grandpa. I'm the father of Videl. What's your name, buddy? Bardock, still holding Hercule's hand, questions. <laughs> Videl? Who's that? Before continuing, In answer to your question though, my name's Bardock. And that smiling buffoon behind me is my wife, Gine. We'd like to thank you for paying for these clothes of ours, Mr. Uh, Hercule. Hercule, however, replies with a confident smile saying, no problem at all, Bardock, my buddy. Your son deserves far more money than what I give him. <laughs> He's just too modest to take it, unlike Chi-Chi. 
He saved this planet plenty of times to deserve it. After all, I have way too much money for one man anyway. I earned a lot as Earth's World Martial Arts Champion. Haha, <laughs> the strongest man on Earth they used to call me. <gasps> what did he just say? Bardock on hearing this looks back with a completely curious face as he thinks. The strongest man on Earth. Does that mean he's even stronger than Kakarot? Impossible. But if Kakarot got so strong here, I wonder if Gine and I heavily underestimated how powerful the Earthlings are. I need to know this for sure. Bardock then as a result winds back a punch thinking, All right, Satan. Let's try this. And Hercule realizing what's about to happen, then a complete shock responds, Wait, what? <laughs> and immediately Hercule is punched by an attack that surpasses even what Android 18 ever did to him, and his brittle teeth come flying out. In an instant, Hercule is sent flying, until he crash lands on a nearby wall, being left barely able to speak. <sighs> nice to meet you too. Meanwhile, Bardock is left awkwardly looking on with his fist still out, saying, uh, Oh god no, looks like I didn't underestimate anybody. Gine, who has just watched all of this go down in the background, looks on with a blank face, unable to figure out any reasoning as to why her husband just did that. Bardock, what the f- ah! Dad! What did you do that for? Mr. Satan, I'm coming, hold on! Don't go into the light! And then immediately, Goku, who is also shocked by Bardock's actions, runs at top speed to aid the now completely dazed Hercule. Meanwhile, inside the mansion, hearing all the commotion outside, Videl is alarmed. Huh? Dad? What was that? I better go check it out. And immediately, she puts down the food she was preparing, picks up the smiling baby Pan, and runs out to the surprise of her life. Dad? What happened? Goku? What's going on here? Mr. Satan, now conscious, bandaged up and in the arms of Goku replies, It's okay, Videl. I'm fine. I just met Gohan's grandparents, that's all. Let's just say, me and his grandpa really hit it off. And Videl looks back confused saying, Gohan's grandparents? He's never mentioned them before. Before Gine, who was watching on from a distance, finally notices Videl and instantly runs over to her and baby Pan. With a big smile on her face, Gine immediately comments, Oh my! You're absolutely beautiful! And so young! Are you my grandson's wife? Gohan did really well with this one! This is what I call a woman fit for a Saiyan! Unlike that old hag Kakarot married! Videl, who has never heard anyone talk about Chi Chi that way, doesn't quite know how to react and replies awkwardly, Old hag? Oh god, Chi Chi isn't going to like that one bit. But thank you! It's so nice to meet you! My name's Videl. What's your name? And Gine, as if at one with her granddaughter in law, holds Videl's hand and says, My name is Gine, my dear. But who is this little one in your hands? And with a bright smile, Gine looks at her great granddaughter for the very first time and continues, She's... she's so precious! Is this... is this my great-granddaughter, Videl? Videl, who is all too happy to let this amazing family moment happen, then replies, Yes. Yes, it is, Gine. Would you like to hold her? Before handing over Pan to a blushing Gine, who responds, Yes, of course! Come here, you little angel! Gine then holds baby Pan in the air, who feels extremely happy as if she'd always been familiar in some way to Gine, and begins to giggle. 
Below, Gine cries tears of joy as the moment overwhelms her. For the very first time, she can feel and touch her extended family, something she never thought would ever happen after she died. She thinks in her head, Oh Pan, I promise with all my heart I'll never let anything happen to you. I hope I live long enough this time to see you grow up. And watching from the sidelines, Goku gives off a massive smile, pleased at seeing his mother so happy, while Bardock gives off a smirk as he too breaks character at the heartwarming scene. Suddenly, from afar, a massive explosion is heard. Huh? Huh? Immediately, both Goku and Bardock are momentarily alarmed by the noise, with Bardock remarking, What the hell was that? Goku then with a serious look, then says without hesitation, I don't know, but it looks like it could be trouble. I'm going to check it out, Dad. You want to come with? And Bardock looks back at his son and nods. Instantly, the two set off to the scene of the noise, and soon, it then becomes apparent where the explosion had come from. At a nearby bank, a gang of robbers had set up shop, terrorizing the station police. A masked robber with a rocket launcher behind him says with a smile, Well, look what we have here. A tough guy policeman thinking he can put me behind bars again. Think again. I'm going to blow you to bits, old man. Instinctively, the policeman is shot by the threat. Huh? Wait, just hold on a minute. Take this. Robber fires without a second's thought straight from his rocket launcher. At top speed, the rocket flies towards the officer, when suddenly, Bardock appears, still with his arms in his jacket. Instantly kicking the rocket into the air, where it explodes without harming anyone. Bardock then stands looking coldly on at the robbers, remarking, <laughs> Made me come all this way for a bunch of two-bit thieves, and here I thought this could have been fun. Understandably, the robber is left shell-shocked by what he's just seen, yelling, What the? Who the hell are you? Before realizing someone else has just appeared right beside him. <gasps> and having instant transmission right next to the robbers is Goku, who instantly kicks one of the robbers into the other. Yeah! As the two lay on the ground in pain and in fear, one of them mutters, Who, who the hell are these guys? Wait a minute, this one looks familiar. Wasn't he on TV? He kind of looks like the guy from... But before the robber can say any more, Goku cracks his knuckles and shouts to Bardock, Hey dad, wanna play a game of volleyball with these guys? What? Before immediately, Goku hits one of them into the direction of Bardock yelling, Here! Catch! The robber as a result flies at speed to Bardock in absolute fear, before in one fell swoop, <laughs> Bardock knocks the man into the ground with one hit, leaving the robber now in a complete daze and most likely completely paralyzed. The police, of course, watching nearby, are left in complete shock. What the hell? Who are these freaks? And Bardock, looking down at his victim, smirks and says, <laughs> Guess I went a little too hard on this lowly earthling. And Goku in the background just smiles, thinking to himself, <laughs> Dad looks like he's finally having fun. But it looks like I'll need to teach these two how to control their power better. Eventually, the scene shifts back to Hercule and Videl, where Goku and Gine are saying their goodbyes. Alright, see you later guys, we're off to see everyone else. And Gine says, Bye baby Pan, I'll see you really soon. And with that, the three Saiyans then take off. While flying, Barok questions Goku asking, so, Kakarot, it's been a long day already. What's next? Another family member to meet? 
And Goku replies, Uh, not really family, but I've got the next best thing. There's someone I think you guys should meet. We're going to meet Vegeta. <gasps> Vegeta? That's not possible! Leaving both Bardock and Gine completely bamboozled. But that was it for today's video guys and if you made it this far leave me a hashtag drip bardock in the comments down below and let me know if you need a part 4 ASAP. This manga is completely written, illustrated and produced by myself and if you want to directly support my work you can do so on Patreon for less than $3 a month and get rewarded over 250 plus fan mangas to read. Yep 250 plus for less than a cup of coffee. All links will be in the pinned comment and description, but if you want to see more of my signature style of content, click on one of these two videos on the right, right now. Until next video guys, cheers.